<laughs> but one thing I first performed with, um, spoken word artist, uh, poet, uh, local here in the Atlanta area, um, well-known poet. But without further ado, please put your hands together for Poetics. Peace, peace. Peace, brother. And I say family, y'all say business. Family. Family. Business. Family. Business. family. Business. So y'all know we all family in here. What goes on here stays in here. This is for us. For us, by us. All right. Uh, well, I want to thank the UNIA for having me up here. Thank you for allowing me this platform uh, for me to be able to share my gift and my craft. I am Poetics. I am not an entertainer. I'm a poet. And what that means to me, is that I'm here to provoke emotion. So these pieces that I performed for you, that I prepared for you, are here to specifically make you feel something. We all know what we go through day to day, but this is the greatest gift right here, the ability for us to come together and share each other's energy. That's right. But despite the obstacles, we will never give up. That's right. So this piece right here is called Qualities. So what do you do when the world no longer glorifies your qualities? What do you do? See, we've been fighting uphill battles for what seems like an eternity. But winning them silently. But the only time you acknowledge me is when I'm shooting a three or rhyming over a dope beat. Like the extent of my capabilities only extend to entertainment. Let the TV tell it, I'll be just another statistic. Like how 57% of the prison system is comprised of black men. And most are locked up for nonviolent offenses. And now I'm waiting for Cousin Pookie to get out the jail cell because visitation starts at 11 a.m. Just so I could tell him his son scored the game-winning touchdown and his sister is helping his baby mother hold the fort down. See, he was in the passenger seat, got labeled as an accomplice, and now he's serving 10. Had to defend himself in the pen, got into a life or death situation and fought to the very ends of killing him. So they added five more to the end of that sentence. He told them it for self-protection, but they used that gown and gavel as a weapon. Like, what does this world have left for black men? See, I don't do this for entertainment. I do this because they detain me on 23-hour lockdown for mandatory minimum sentences in industrial complex prison systems, all for their self-interest. And I thought prison was for rehabilitation. And so I studied the 13th Amendment. See, they abolish slavery unless you're incarcerated. But I've been studying our legacy lately and I couldn't help but see we were kings and queens way before slavery. Now they common misconceptions and they constant second guessing gave you the wrong impression. See, they judge us based off how we're dressing. But I've seen criminals in three-piece suits and scholars in rags with no riches. Side note, side note. You know, I had this crazy thought the other day. We see brothers wearing jeans sagging past and I couldn't help but wonder, what if they're subconsciously telling the world to kiss their ass? For all the lies that were told that you thought they wouldn't catch? for the targets painted on their back and law enforcement coming for their neck. But I'm gonna use those common misconceptions as a weapon to change your perception, sorry, not sorry, for my focus and controlled aggression. Let's go. See, I'm not about to be oppressed by their stereotypes, enslaved inside a prison made by their decisions and now the only mission, to preserve this essence. I live in the present tense, but get the strength from my ancestors to embody their presence. This is heaven sent. The skin, beautiful. The hair, natural. Yes. These words of wisdom in the mind is powerful. We disregard distractions, curb their diversions. Our people on the verge of. Our people on the verge of. See, our people on the verge of. Oh man, this is perfect. See, my nephew said he wanted to be an astronomer. Young lady I met in the grocery store said she studied to be an architect, and my sister just got a doctorate. Oh my, talk about black excellence. But why are we confined and defined by the state of this continent? Like they haven't been teaching us to hate ourselves since been since Willie Lynch been a part of the curriculum. Crooked lies throughout history, no wonder why it's a mystery where we really come from. Missing pages out the textbook, not a test look, like a bunch of loaded questions. Which one of your forefathers chopped down the cherry tree? The answer is D, none of the above. Now cousin Pookie sitting behind a glass talking to his son and asked, what did you learn in history class? Uh, Christopher Columbus discovered America, our forefathers built this great nation and Abraham Lincoln freed the slave when he signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Now Cousin Pookie's sitting thinking how he's supposed to teach his son from general population. And speaking of raising a nation, picture me asking for 40 acres. Forget a mule, I want a hospital, a bank, and two schools. 
test laws and find loopholes and tax codes because what they call, what we call obstacles, they call collateral. Just to keep you climbing up this ladder that has no sin and we've been raised off this sin. I don't want justice and equality. I want my independence from this unjust society, a crooked right. system built off the backs of black men, women, and children. What happens when they no longer glorify your qualities? They disregard your contribution and hide your history behind years of tyranny. Can't defend against the views they paint a savage picture in the media and news is misrepresentation. Now the world is introduced to me by what they see on TV. How can we gain equality if they don't represent us equally? Right. See, I'm tired of asking for something I know I already deserve. Mm. Now I'm tired of asking for something I know I already deserve. I'm tired of asking for something I know I already deserve. I'm tired of hashtags, I'm tired of putting my hands up. I'm tired of them calling this the land of the free and the home of the brave when I was a coward who shot that man left the streets to be his grave. I'm not a free man, I'm a free soul. Never to be bought, never to be sold. What do you do when the world no longer glorifies your qualities? You build your own. Rebel. I have a couple more pieces in the spirit of Marcus Garvey Day. And uh, I'm, I think he stepped out, but Pastor Slaughter had mentioned this is the greatest movement of black people yes. ever. Yes. Largest. And we did it in the 20s when all the obstacles were against us. But there's one thing we got to do now in 2021, almost 100 years later. Let's find our way back home. And I don't mean geographically. I mean spiritually, psychologically, brotherhood, sisterhood. We got to remind each other what home is. Home is love. Home is where your heart is, as they say. So this next piece is called Coming Back Home. It's been over 400 years since I've been home. The man says kindly to the gentleman sitting next to him. The gentleman hasn't had the slightest of worry. The gentleman says, I'm sorry. You seem to mistake me for someone who cares. And into that blank stare, the man began to unpack his suitcase, one by one, as if to appeal to the gentleman's better nature. See, first the man tells the gentleman about his mother and the life she provides, how strong her roots are and the fruit that she bears, the cycle she maintains, the balance she creates, the beauty that's alive, the view from side to side, it's amazing, the love and care she takes. And then there's man's father. He oversees the land, making sure all things were in order, working in the ways of the world. He too controls the balance, but with the greater hand and a lighter touch. Man, I haven't been home since longer than I can remember. Now at this point, in the conversation, the man's face begins to tear up. And that blank stare on the gentleman's face causes tempers to flare up. I will find my way back home the way it was meant to be. Filled with love and laughter, the passion that kept us captive for everything sacred and supernatural. One day we could return to the land of the everlasting, back to when we were more than just a glorious people. Not just the individual, all our ancestors are honorable. All praises to the ones that paved the way. Through trauma and tragedy, our roots began in royalty and a man says, I can hear the wind calling me. Come home, says mother. Back to the love shared between brother and sister. Sons and daughters, we call the unity, the connection between you and me. We went from stay alive to do or die. It was a suicide mission and we ignored all consequences just to escape that plantation. Plotting and scheming, praying and wishing, listening to the wind whispering, Directions. Cause I can hear your footsteps, Father. I'ma follow right behind. Reading sign to sign, deciphering rhythm from rhyme. See, we used to put the message in the song. And we sang with praise. We would raise our voice to the sky, but the connection came from inside. You could see it in the dance, how we beat our feet. You could feel the rumble in the ground, Father. I'ma follow the sound, chasing, hurdling every obstacle just to get back to you. See, we had to change with the time just to make it through. I know, I know I was there too. This world was cruel, we had to survive just to get by. And for the sins of men, our punishment was unusual. See, if you ask me, the only way to honor ours is to build a nation so powerful, so powerful, I mean, we can get the bread and buy the land, build a school, might grab a bank or two just off general principle, because my God, my God, he strengthens me. Yo, staff, thy rod, they deliver me. Been through the darkest of days and the coldest of nights, but look, Father, we never lost the fight. We swung swords and clashed axes and there's still more battle left for the battlefield. I'm talking the castle on top of the hill. Don't believe in the king, believe in the kingdom. That's what the fight is for. 
The sacrifice, the up all night, the questioning, this can't be life, searching for more was for a chance to explore. First, make it out this basement door. Next, believe in the whispers. Just stop and listen and take a deep breath because they're telling you the way back home, step by step. Rebel. All right, all right. All right. Appreciate you, appreciate you. You know, 